Okay, hello, I'm back. This will be the second tutorial in my HP Prime uh, tutorial series. This one, I'm going to go a little more in depth in the solve function. So the first thing you do is you come to the apps, click on solve. Now, I've entered in a couple of formulas here, and I can pick either one of these with this check mark here, and I can go and I can hit the number button, and it'll let me solve for whatever I want, and, and it works. Um, you know, we can change velocity initial. Let's say that that's five. All right. And then I want to solve for the acceleration. Boom, it gives it. Now, let's say that, that I know my acceleration was uh, 25. And now I want to solve for that. And see, it gives it. So it'll solve. And it's really, really handy. But here's something that's really cool. All right, so we come here. I've got the second function that does the same thing. Notice I've got the same types of variables, all right? So I've got x final, which is x2, x2. And this is this is a variable I created earlier. Uh, if you look at my user variables, I created them. Uh, it just makes it easier. I'll, I'll do a tutorial about that later. So x2, x2, x1, x1. So I'm going to combine these two formulas. Boom, I hit that, and then I come here, and what it does, it lets us do the solution all right so here's the cool thing all right because we have two formulas selected it, you have to have two unknowns that it solves for now if we look here let's say that we know what our um, initial position and oh, let's say we know what our initial and final position are and we know what our initial and final velocity are but we don't know what our acceleration is well, let's Let's just make this realistic, all right? So we'll, we'll go to solver. Let's say that we start out at the zero position, or zero velocity and the zero position, all right? And so we're going to solve for acceleration, and there's our acceleration. Okay, that's pretty cool. It worked, right? But here's what's really cool about it. So we come back here, we check both of these, right? And then we come here, and let's say that we... we are trying to solve for the acceleration. We know the velocity starts from zero, goes to 25. We know our position goes from there to there. We want to solve for time as well. So we're going to solve So we're solving for the acceleration, we're solving for the time. Now if I hit the solve, look at that, it solves acceleration, it sol solve for time. So you can combine uh, equations to find other unknowns which is really kind of cool all okay, right so let's let's go back in here and let's let's change things up a little bit all right so let, let's uh go back here let's say we don't know what our acceleration is we don't know what our time is and our v2 let's say that we our v2 is 50 and our um, initial velocity is uh, 15 and we're starting out from the 10 position um, let's see I've changed things so the acceleration is going to be different the time is going to be different I hit solve and there it is it gives it to you so it uses one it uses both of the uh, functions together to solve for the unknowns that's pretty cool that's really cool anyways let me know in the comments uh, if this tutorial helps you out. I'm making some other ones that will be a little more in-depth. Thank you much.